Hi everyone. In this lecture, we are going to talk about cascade connection of a discrete time systems, or you can say cascade connected discrete time systems. So basically, assume that two LTI systems, each with their respective impulse responses h1 of n and h2 of n, are interconnected in a cascade configuration. Fine. Assume the input is x of n. So here the output from this system is denoted as y1 of n, and the output from this second system is denoted as y of n. Okay. So basically, the concern here is, or the conclusion here is, two cascade connected discrete time systems with the impulse response h1 of n and h2 of n can be replaced with a by a single equivalent discrete time system whose impulse response is given by convolution of individual impulse responses like convolution of h1 of n and h2 of n and what is the input input is what x of n and output is what basically y of n hope it is clear to you so this is what basically cascade connected discrete time system and this is what its equivalent system hope it is clear to you now fine let's go further and check this thing so basically y1 of n is what output of the first system so how can you write this so basically it, it is nothing but y1 of n is what basically convolution of this two so convolution of x of n with h1 of n right similarly this is what equation 1 similarly when you talk about the output of the second system which is denoted by y of n so y of n will be equal to what convolution of this and this right so convolution of y1 of n and h2 of n so consider it as equation number 2 hope this much is clear to you fine now let's move to the next and understand few things now what you can write you already know y1 of n is equal to what convolution of x of n and h1 of n so you can write this expression or equation as y of n is equal to in place of this it will be what convolution of x of n and h1 of n right and this whole here we have the convolution of h2 of n hope it is clear to you fine now what we can do we can hope you are aware about the associative property so we can write it as x of n okay and convolution of h1 of n and h2 of n clear so basically this we are going to replace with what so this is equal to convolution of x of n and h of n so talking about h of n so h of n is equal to what here where h of n is equal to convolution of h1 of n and h2 of n so by this we can conclude that what overall impulse response of two cascaded discrete time systems is given by the convolution of individual impulse responses okay so by this equation by this we can say that overall impulse response of the two cascaded discrete time system is given by convolution of individual impulse responses so this is all about the cascade connection of system so hope you are clear with this concept if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching